Hi all, welcome to UI part training once again. Uh, today we will again do some kind of Excel operations. So here we, I have this Excel sheet already open. Here we have all kind of city names and we have to fetch the temperatures for each city from browser. See it Google. So let's get started. So this is my project. I'll drag and drop a sequence and do my development inside a sequence. Then let me open the Excel sheet. For the path, I will, this is my Excel sheet. I will copy the path from here. Paste it here. And one more thing, I don't want to see my Excel while running the video, running, running the bot. So I will uncheck this visibility. Then let's read range. So we will be reading the Excel sheet and I will put everything into a data table. Say temp dt. And let me also change the scope to global because we are going to use the data table outside this Excel scope. Then let me open the browser. So I'll be opening Google from which I will fetch the temperatures. The browser type I will give it as Chrome. After that, let me maximize the window because it's sometimes the window is not in maximized state. So I just maximize the window. Then we have to iterate through each row so that it will get all the city names from this Excel sheet and will it will put it inside a variable so that we can search it inside in the Chrome for temperatures. So for that we have an activity called get row item. We have to give the row here and here we need to give the column name. Column name is city names. Instead of column names, you can also give um, column index. But for column index, for the data table, column index starts from 0. So it would have been 0. So don't get confused because from for Excel, column index starts from 1. But for data table, since we are using a data table, it starts from 0. Then let me attach browser. We will be attaching the Chrome browser. I'll click F2, pause it for two seconds. Then again, I'll attach this browser. And we'll check the selector here. Selector is this one, and it's already validated, which is green. So let me write here temperature of Pune. So you can see we get a URL here. So let me explain you one thing. So when I'm testing this URL here, we will get the city names twice. This one and this one. So I'm going to replace the city names with a variable. So after attaching the browser, I'm going to navigate the URL which I'm gonna again change it to dynamic variables that is for city names which we have already captured inside this plus Okay, I missed here the value. Let me put the value here as Vacity. And here we will give that same variable. First here, Vacity. And one more city name is also here. I'll replace that as well, which is Vacity. 
so I'm, I'm gonna navigate to that page and then get the temperature using this get text activity indicate again I'll press F2 and I, I need to get this exact value so I'm gonna indicate it and it's very much good to check and validate the selector this point, this point we it's not able to validate the selector so I'm gonna indicate it again now it's validating but it's giving some kind of fixed value which I'm gonna change it to some dynamic value I'll put some stars stars for replacing more than one characters and question mark for replacing only one character I'll put it into a variable called var temp after putting it into a variable var temp I'm gonna print it in a message box and let's see how it prints just for our cross check so, um, before that I want to add a kill process I don't want to I'm so tired I don't want to even close my process manually let the bot do it and let's run it Pune 23 it's gonna move uh, we got some issues let me check that stop the process let me check the atas browser it's not indicating I got it so let me again indicate it and make it kind of dynamic let's validate it again it's validating Okay, and let me run it again this time it should run fine without any issues 23 Pune yes it's working fine 24 27 okay we don't need to run it anymore and we need to now write it into our Excel sheet I'll remove this message box before writing I'm gonna create a data table I'm creating this data table so that I can fetch all the temperature values and put it inside this data table. So I'm going to use this same column name here. Click on OK and give it a name say new temp dt is our new temp temperature data table. Now what are we going to do, I need to add data row, so we need to add the data row to the data table which we have created this new tmdt. Now we are going to add a array of row, so for that first we need to create a variable saying array of row and assign it some variable. So area of temperature, I'm going to assign variable that temp here and let me change the variable type to array of stream. So now let me give the name as array of temperature. So now it's going to add it then the last work is we need to write the range so i'm going to write it inside the workbook write range activity i'm going to use that because i want to keep the path directly here so let me copy the path again and keep the path here it should be b1 and the table should be new temp dt which we already created let me save it and let me run it and see how it goes 
Okay, it will not work. Let me close this in between. I just close the Excel because it's not going to write it if the Excel application is already open. Now oh, some kind of issues we faced again or it is done. Let me see and open this temperature of this. We'll see if it has written or not. Yes, it has correctly written but some issues. We will run it again and we'll see how it goes. So let me run it again and see. We'll see if it has recorded all the temperatures or not. Same issue. Let me check it properly again right range okay I have to add the headers here that's the reason why I was getting the same issue anyways it's going to overwrite it so I'm not deleting here closing it and let me run it again So now let's check, it should be proper, yeah this time it's proper, it has written all the temperature details. So yeah, so but still our chrome is open, if you want to close the chrome, you can add one more kill process, kill process and put the same thing here as chrome and if you want to run it again you can run and see we'll do the same activities yeah it has closed our chrome and one more thing I will also like to tell you instead of this get row item we can do one more thing as well the where is possible these to get the row items instead of that you can directly keep this parsity and you can give this row dot item here you can see we can give the column name so same way we can do this is a different way of doing do it properly dot two string so in this way also we can do generic value which I can convert it to string and yeah so you, this, these are such kind of activities and ways that you can use for automating so there are a lot of ways you can use so this is what I found it as simple thanks, thanks, thanks a lot and if any kind of doubts or issues in the same thing you can mention in the comment section thanks a lot